Good morning, gardening friends. It's Saturday. It's about 9 o'clock, and it's time for another episode of what I did this week. So, actually, uh, we had rain. I, normally, I would start this on Thursday uh, on that sort of a cycle. Maybe I'll end up adjusting to Saturdays. I don't know. Uh, as it is, the regular weekly is on... The, the summary is on Sundays, and I've been releasing these on Wednesdays. We'll see. Um, but we had rain this week, which kind of prevented me from recording anything Thursday or Friday. Uh, actually, the storm was supposed to come in like Wednesday and last through Friday or maybe Saturday or maybe a slight... Anyway, it ended up like bunching up and only coming on one day, which was yesterday. And it was a pretty intense storm, so let's see what the uh, storm has done to the various parts of the garden. Okay, I think we can just sort of start with the lawn out front. Uh, there's debris on the lawn. I haven't mowed in a few weeks, but it grows slower when it gets colder, so... Um, I mean, it's not like there hasn't been sun for it to grow. Also, you can see how much shade the tree is... This tree is casting on the lawn. So, uh, I think what I may do today is just sort of rake it up try and get the debris off the lawn, it'll look that much better, and then maybe if it looks like the grass is that long, maybe I'll pass the lawn more over it. But let's move around and go see what uh, things look like over here. I do need to refill this garbage can here with what we've got in the other cans, which I'll show you in a second. But let's get the gate open, I should have done that before. There we go. Uh, yeah, oh, gate doesn't want to stay open. All right, one more thing to do. Uh, the worms, let's see how they're doing. We've got a worm family. I got to get more table scraps and put them in here, but. Yeah, let's move on. Let's see what else has happened back here. I'll close that up. We'll let them rest. Um, the, oh, let me tilt you back up here. So we've got a lot of oranges on this tree, and I really think we should pick some of these off and see how they're doing. But moving on, uh, no obvious, like, issues around here. Um, kind of looking a lot of, a lot of this I'm looking at for the first time since the rain. Uh, no right side up containers filled with water, which is a bad thing because you get mosquitoes and what have you. Um, oh, I meant to mention uh, this one here. This was basically just a jar with the uh, bulb in it, and now it's actually grown something. Um, I think it's supposed to be a once a year kind of plant, an iris or something like that. If somebody knows what that is, please go ahead and tell us. Uh, you can see the grass is really growing in badly back there, so that's something else I need to do is, even though we may be terracing this before too long, I really need to kind of get in there and pull a bunch of weeds. I mean, you can kind of see where I left off last week, so i got to pick up from here. I can see some debris up there that needs to be dealt with. I can see the branch on the Nandina is bent over under the weight of the water, but ultimately the Nandina is going to go. Uh, I'm leaving it there until we're actually ready to take it out, until we have something to go here. So, I mean, it's, it doesn't look that bad, but I means the plant on the side of the house. How many people are going to see it? Um, lots of water on these covers here. I need to, like, there. That should take care of that. Oh, and if you saw the bird at the end of the last video... If you didn't watch to the end of the video, you missed it, but uh, the box that he went into is now in here because I want to keep water out of the box and a bird out of the box. So i got to do the same thing here, but I'm going to move that planter. I'll do that in a bit. Uh, I did notice that the celery is spreading out again. So maybe I need to look up what the habit is of a celery plant. Do they spread out like that or what? Uh, moving on, oh, there's an orange on the ground there. One that obviously fell off of this tree. You can see there's still a couple of them way up at the top. Those are really hard to get to with the picker. And 
They're too high up to just reach for them. Once we get things terraced, though, I might be able to put a ladder up there, which would make it a lot easier to pick the tree. That's that. Let's go through this gate. We'll see what it all looks like over here. Okay, these plants have not fallen off the wall yet. That's good. Uh, I did notice I came out here yesterday in between showers and, and looked, and I could see that some of the dirt has splashed up onto the things around it. So I probably need to top off these. Well, it's not that bad, actually. Ooh, and I got something growing in here. That's probably a weed. I didn't plant anything. Uh, oh, I had noticed I've got a, one of my nasturtium seeds is sitting in there. I had a couple of them. Yeah, there they are. I got a few of them. Uh, those came off of this plant here. It fell over, and I noticed them on the ground. In fact, actually, there's a few more. And there's the neighbor starting up his tr car. At least I think that is. Got one of those annoyingly loud mufflers. Uh, moving on. We've got the basil plant. We're, it's still alive. And we're harvesting off of it and enjoying some basil here and there. Uh, looks like, yeah, both of the little plants are doing okay in there. So... Overall, we're in pretty good shape. Let's work our way past here. Sorry about the funky angle. And that's what this is all looking like. There's really not much to happen here. There's some clover in there. That's something that we, it's a weed that we have a bit of a problem with. Well, let's head out to the other side. You can see it's still kind of wet. But I want to go to the side and show you kind of what I want to work on. One of the things I thought of needs to be dealt with. Yeah, it's the neighbor's car. Uh, so this whole area is kind of hanging over the sidewalk. So I need to deal with some trimming here. So I think that's kind of what we're looking at. What you're going to get from today's video. And what we'll kind of make up for the last couple of days. So... Let me figure out what I'm going to do first. I'll set up and we'll go to some time lapse. Okay, that's a little better. Now I think I got to go deal with the driveway. could keep going uh, there's a little bit more behind here that's could still be swept up but I was thinking while I was sweeping and there's a spot up by the front door there that needs to be dealt with I just know from experience that those little tendrils sticking up, they grow into the, the eaves underneath and it drives my mother crazy. So figured as long as I'm out here with all the tools and everything, might as well take care of that. And as long as I'm trimming bougainvillea, might as well head to the side yard and take care of that one too. I do hate cutting off so many of the flowers, but it's really kind of a safety issue. If neighbors are walking by and they get that there's a lot of thorns on the bougainvillea, and so it's I don't want them to get caught on the thorns and have some kind of issue there. But I can also see that off to the left side there, it also needs a bit of trimming back, or at least maybe some of the lower stuff, and then we can make kind of an arch out of it. I don't know. But then also I can see down below now the weeds that are growing there are that much more obvious. So it's kind of like case of the might as well. So I guess that's what I'm doing next is a little bit more trimming and removing some weeds.
Wow, that was a bit more than I thought, and I'm still not quite done, but the music I was listening to has ended, so well, the album I was listening to. So I'm going to switch albums. I'm going to take a short break, and then I'll get right back to it. Well, this is a first. The battery's going to run out soon, so I better get cracking. Okay, that should be a good enough uh, day's effort. I'm going to give you the view from here so you can see. Uh, I think I've gotten like 90 something percent out of the front, uh, closer to the sidewalk, but it occurs to me there's more weeds back here in the uh, geraniums, and the geraniums are actually spreading, which is kind of cool. So, but I think that's, uh, I'm going to wrap it up for today and maybe pick up tomorrow uh, try and get the weeds out of the geraniums and maybe mow the front lawn we'll see good morning gardening friends it's Sunday and I've got a bit of a plan here I'm gonna take care of some of the stuff behind me here uh, let me just show you what I'm thinking the issue is I've got weeds in with the geraniums I got a lot of geraniums and the geraniums are spreading have I said geraniums enough times? Uh, I've also got this one. I'm not sure if I want to keep that one uh, agave there or not. Basically, I'm trying to reorganize things a bit here so they're a bit more, a bit less overgrown looking, but also not looking, uh, or I want it to look more natural, but I gotta figure out what to do with all the extra geraniums as they spread. So. I was looking at the other side of the house where we've got some pots and ultimately I've got some pots I can empty out but I need to sift the soil and deal with that. And once I got that I have pots that I can use. I can take cuttings off of these plants uh, to save some of them and then I'll, I'll probably end up throwing some of it away just because there's that much. But that's kind of the plan so the first thing I got to do is deal with all those pots and sifting some of that soil. That's just two of them. So this is what we've got. got. A pile of dirt, and we got some gravel, and that's one or two containers that's just been sitting in the garden, not with anything in it, for about a year now. So, on to the next ones. Okay, that's quite a few pots and quite a few worms I found in them, uh, which I've added to the vermicompost bin. Uh, I've got almost a full bin, well, maybe two-thirds full, again, on top of what's already there. Uh, but the plan is I think I'm going to wash all these down just to give them, make them look a little bit nicer. Uh, and then I will refill them with soil from that bin and start uh, making cuttings and planting. So here we go. Okay, so that last large one was really just to get it clean. It's not so much part of this and 
even the next largest one there I'm not sure if I'm going to use that I don't know how many cuttings I'm going to take but I think the next step is now to refill these with sorry about that uh, refill these with uh, some soil and then finally get to actually uh, pulling weeds and doing cuttings <laughs> Okay, that's all of them, but I'm going to have to take a break, folks, because something just happened around here, and I can't really say what it is, but I'm going to take a break for a bit, so when I pop back up, hopefully I'll be back to the next step. I guess the weeds were not as bad as I thought they were. It was more about trimming back the bougainvillea a little bit more and sort of straightening out, but not totally straightening out the uh, geraniums. I've got a whole pile of them, and I think that's the next thing is to figure out which ones are worth anything and get them planted in the pots. That after I clean up a little bit of what I threw on the sidewalk. Well, that takes care of just about everything I can do with the uh, geraniums. I've got those two and a few more on the wall. And all that really remains is to water them in. So I think I'll take care of that. And that'll be it for today. And we'll see what comes tomorrow or the next day. Until then. Good afternoon, gardening friends. It's Wednesday. And this is the end of the, the week. I haven't gotten anything else done. I'm mainly turning to uh, working in the garage and trying to get that kind of cleaned out a bit. So that's really not a gardening project, so it really doesn't belong in this section of the channel. Um, and I'm not sure that anybody really wants to see me cleaning the garage. But uh, there are a couple of things that uh, I want to try and wrap up real quick and so I can actually wrap up the video for the week. And then we'll see, uh, there might not be a progress video next week, although there will be a garden uh, summary at the end of the week. So, uh, let's just get to those things. I was just about to do some stuff right here, and I realized I should probably record this as just sort of part of the little bit of gardening that's going on right now. Um, I've got the compost bin here, which has been mostly leveled here. Um, and it's pretty heavy and hard to move. This bin has a bunch more soil left from when I worked on the... Uh, ooh, what happened to the focus there? Come on, there we go. Uh, when I was working on the geraniums. And so I'll just show you, there's a bunch left in there. But I want to kind of level this one out so I can actually close the lid. Right now I've moved it slightly, but ultimately what I want to do is level this whole area here which is going to be a little tricky but it's just one little project that I think kind of needs to get done if I'm going to leave this stuff sitting for a little bit so that's what I'm going to attack okay that's a little bit better now I've got the worm bin here that's the one that has the holes in the top maybe a little harder to tell now that I look at it if somebody else comes along, they're going to wonder why there's so many bins, but it's all basically extra soil, and i got to put them somewhere. And one has worms in it, which will hopefully help to fertilize the soil and make it that much richer. Uh, this one is just extra soil, which has been sifted, and this is the gravel that was sifted out of it. So I can use that to fill the pothole in the cul-de-sac or whatever. Uh, that's that. I guess I should show you what the geraniums look like. 
So here's the ones out front. And they're, yeah, I mean, they're looking a little wilted. Um, I'm not expecting all of them to make it. I kind of hope they would all make it. And then I have a problem figuring out what to do with them all. But uh, we'll see. That's what these look like. And this is what the smaller ones look like. Some doing better than others. Uh, just sort of hit or miss. I'm not sure what to make of it all, but that's what they look like. And I did want to make a quick note of the fact that uh, some of my Garden of Light lights are still out front here. But I've been trying to figure out what to do with I had so many of them that I made so I could have them for the holidays. And it was like, where am I going to put them? There's only so much room in the back, otherwise it starts to look kind of garish. And then it occurred to me, I could start putting them out here in the side yard. So I got a few of them up, and what I'm doing is, uh, when I come out to walk with my neighbor at night, then the lights are on, and I can see what color they are. <laughs> so, I mean, I can figure that out at some point, with, even without that. I mean, just pull them out and put my hand over the solar cell, and I can see the color, but... Um, just so I can kind of figure out if they look right at night. And uh, so I'll put a few more, and I'll just kind of keep going until I figure out where to put them all. But that's about it for now. I'll leave you with this picture of the side garden that I worked on. And uh, I think that's it for this week. I may be busy working on the garage project for another week or so, so I don't know that there's going to be a progress report, I think. Uh, if there's anything extra, I may just include it in the end of the week summary. Um, so that'll be a, maybe a treat for <laughs> people watching that one. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm going to wrap it up for here uh, for now. And uh, we'll do a progress report when there's progress. This is the Budget Gardener signing off saying, Thank you for watching, stay safe, and may your thumb be green.